I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to go to dinner, which is why I'm wearing my jacket. And uh, I, I worked, so when this tape was made that everyone's talking about now, I worked at Access Hollywood. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I know about Access Hollywood and Billy Bush and this whole stupid thing. Uh, first off, I, I worked as a graphic artist at, at, at Access Hollywood for five years. Okay, And I, I knew Billy. I would talk to Billy on the set every day. And um, uh, I like Billy. Billy's a good guy. This tape, these tapes don't just lay around. They're in, a, they're in a vault, basically. And to get access to a tape from 11 years ago and to edit it, you have to ask somebody. You have to get that. It doesn't just come out. Again, I know this because I worked in the graphics department, and we used to get tapes all the time, but we'd have to request them, and there's a whole process. So someone could figure out, if they wanted to, where this tape came from and why it got up. But let me just talk about the general hypocrisy. What I didn't hear on the tape of Billy Bush and Donald Trump is them putting a cigar into an intern. Didn't hear that part. Didn't hear the part about either one of them pulling out their erect penis and waggling at anyone, as Bill Clinton did with Paula Jones, and paid $800,000 in a settlement to Paula Jones. Oh, of course, he didn't do anything wrong. I'm sure he just paid $800,000. By the way, Bill, you can wiggle it at me for eight hundred grand anytime you want to. This is the utmost in hypocrisy. Furthermore, and this is why I'm going to do a quick take on this, the country is at risk. Terror attacks, right, happening on a, a kind of weekly basis right now. Uh, an immigration debate that we don't even want to have, but Tim Kaine was talking, Donald Trump wants to get rid of 16 million people. Is that 15 million, 16 million? What? I thought it was like 9 million. But Kaine admitted in the debate the other night that it's 15 or 16 million. You know what? I don't care if Donald Trump and Billy Bush get turned on by the ladies. And, and talk to each other about it. This is the stupidest thing in the world. And it's the most hypocritical thing in the world, especially from Hillary Clinton, who's clearly an enabler. Hillary Clinton did not think that Bill Clinton sticking a cigar in an intern was enough to get him impeached. But somehow, uh, Billy Bush and Donald Trump yapping about women, talking about them, talking about them, He's somehow not qualified. Look, there are real issues. This is a serious point in our country's development right now. This is a serious point. Hillary Clinton, all these emails that are coming out today, there's not a question in the world she's corrupt. Not a question in the world she's corrupt. It's clear she was giving ambassadorships to people based on their uh, Clinton Foundation funding. She's made millions of dollars in politics. She's worked in politics her entire life. From the time she was an intern, she worked at a law firm briefly, but then she's been the first lady of Arkansas, then she's been the first lady. She's completely unqualified. You want to talk about sexism, she's completely unqualified. The only reason she was made Secretary of State, the only reason she got elected Senator, is because she was married to a dude. That's it. She was the first lady. She has no natural charisma, Right? She has a certain amount of political ability, but not that much, really. And she's been in a position, because she's a first lady, no one wants to tell her how uncharismatic she is. And, and what policy positions are we talking about here that anybody thinks are good for the country? So if people want I know people like talking about it's sex, it's interesting. If you're actually thinking of not voting for Donald Trump because he talked about ladies... I have no idea what's wrong with you, but really get get to your senses, because at the same time, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are amping up a war with Russia over nothing. And at the time, she's blaming Russia for these leaks that show how she rigged the election against Bernie, that show how she and by the way, we know who did it. It's 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 Guccifer, too. That's who did it. And he didn't act like a Russian at any point. He didn't act like a, a pawn of the Russian government. So again, anyway, anyway, it's just ridiculous at this point. I got to get dinner, but I'll have more to say about this later. But anyway, if this is your issue, if your key issue is talking about people, then you're you really might want to think about whether you want Bill Clinton anywhere near the White House or Hillary Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin, was married to Anthony Weiner. How many chicks did Anthony Weiner? have to publicly humiliate Huma over before she decided to separate from him. Again, this is the most hypocritical thing in the world. If you care about 
people being demeaning to women. You don't want Clintons anywhere near the White House, nowhere near it at all, not even at Donald Trump's hotel down the block. You don't want them anywhere near it. Send them back to Arkansas.